What would happen if you overloaded your sense of taste with sour? Let's rewind the clock. Do you remember the suspiciously sour candies called warheads? You know, the ones that would cause your lips to pucker something awful. But then, ah, sweet, sweet fruit flavors would be your reward for enduring the pain. Well, what if you ate far beyond the recommended amount? Does too much sour damage your body? What would happen if you wolfed down 100 sour warheads? Before diving into the consequences of overstuffing your mouth with sourness, let's talk about what sour even is. Well, sour is one of the five basic tastes that humans can sense. The others are sweet, savory, salty, and bitter. Your tongue is lined with about 10,000 taste buds, which are replaced about every two weeks by natural processes in your body. It's their job to let you know what you are tasting. And they're quite good at it too. A common misconception is that certain areas of the tongue are better suited for tasting certain tastes. This is false. Your entire tongue will sense all five of the basic tastes. However, the edges of your tongue are indeed more sensitive to flavor than the middle. The only area of your tongue that has evolved to be more sensitive to a taste is the back of your tongue with regards to bitterness. This is to give your body one last chance to sense something that could potentially be poisonous from entering your digestive tract. Not bad, evolution. So what happens when we taste something sour? Well, usually something has a sour taste when it contains acidic solutions like lemon juice or organic acids. These substances come in contact with nerve cells on our taste buds. Ever wonder what those wart-like bumps on your tongue are? Those are called taste papillae, and they contain all those necessary tasting sensing cells. The sour substance hits your tongue, then activates the cells when specific proteins are changed in the wall of these sensory cells. This causes the cell to transmit messenger substances, which then activate more nerve cells, which then tell your brain what it is tasting. Phew! Who knew tasting would be so complicated? So now that we know how we are tasting sour, have you ever wondered why? Why on earth do humans like this flavor? I mean, it makes us squirm in our seats, pucker our lips, and close our eyes to prevent tears from flying out. Why do we like this taste? The answer is simple. Evolution. We evolved to like sour because in the wild, it usually means a source of vitamin C, something our bodies need to survive. And hey, that makes sense, right? But have you ever noticed how kids seem to like sour more than adults? There is a reason they can't seem to get enough warheads, while adults, well, don't really seek them out. Studies have shown that children do indeed like sour more. It comes down to the novelty of the flavor. And when you are a kid, you are drawn to flavors that are just more intense. As you age, you, well, kind of grow out of it. But now it's time for a trip down memory lane. Let's talk about warheads. Those massively sour little dudes that make your lips pucker for a good minute. And then, ah, serene sweetness. But what makes these hard candies so sour? Warheads derive their strong sour flavor primarily from malic acid, which is applied as a coating to the outside of the hard candy. And now you're thinking, acid? Well, I mean, this has to have some consequences to your taste buds. What happens if you eat far beyond the recommended amount? What if you wolfed down 100 nonstop? Hey, the warning is right there on the packaging. It says, eating multiple pieces within a short time period may cause temporary irritation to sensitive tongues and mouths. And they mean it. Your mouth is very sensitive to malic acid, and while things would be fine at first, as you approach 100 warheads, you would experience dental erosion, canker sores, or small ulcers. And there may even be small lesions on your tongue. The overload of malic acid can also trigger headaches, diarrhea, nausea, and you may even have an allergic reaction. And if you suffer from acid reflux or heartburn, you definitely are going to experience quite a bit of pain and discomfort. But long-term damage? Don't worry, Brainiacs. Studies have shown that other than an upset stomach, there's nothing to worry about with too much sour. Just balance it out by eating foods from the other four taste categories, and you'll be fine. So, in short, it's absolutely possible to eat 100 warheads. Just, your mouth wouldn't look so good. In fact, a common YouTube challenge was to eat 100 or sometimes even 150 warheads, and then film the reactions and damage. Believe us, it ain't pretty. So, turns out if you really love warheads, and we mean really love warheads, you can pretty much eat as many as you want before you have to stop due to the pain in your mouth. Why you would do this to yourself, we have absolutely no idea. But hey, to each their own. 
just be sure to give your mouth plenty of time to heal before you decide to binge that sourness again.